Hello everyone, it's Fred again from Notes of a Nomad. This time I'm gonna try something a little bit differently. This week I'm showing part of a video that I made in 2014 when we were on one of the cruise cruises on this boat. Uh, starting on the left of the screen, the fellow with holding his hand under his chin is Ron Altry, who is our old Rover Scout master who came from Toronto to visit us. Then there's Fast Eddie, who just passed away recently. Ken, who owns the boat. And we'll see Dave and Mati on the other side in the video. So I want to show you this just to show you a little bit of laughter. And laughter is one of the things I wanted to talk about today. So hopefully this works. I don't know. Yeah, he showed that to me once what the difference was. <laughs> I bet you Ron doesn't, doesn't know the story, do you? And the end box off. Yeah, that was the end of all ends. We uh, were in the Dominion parking lot. Yeah, we were sitting around there just peddling the ball as, as young oh, you te were? teenagers. How much money? <laughs> but my story, anyway, some of the guys decided it's time for a So that was a short clip from the cruise that we did in 2014, where there were six of us on the Sea Holly, and you can see it is on the boat that I'm currently on. And there's a couple of things that came to mind. I reviewing the books that I normally review, and I, and I thought I'd share with you some of the thoughts that came to mind. The one uh, quote that I wanted to share with you is from Tools of a Titan. I mentioned this book before. And it's from Jamie Foxx, who is an Academy Award winning uh, actor. He's also a musician, also a stand up comedian. And he said, In a blink of an eye, we'll all be gone. A hundred years compared to infinity is nothing. And we say, We better start having some fun, like we were having on the boat. We're going to be gone in a minute. You're going to look back and say, Shit. I should have been laughing and now I'm dead. So that was one of the books that I wanted to quote today, but I have some fun. And the other was a book called Noise. This is the title of a book. It was written in 2019 by a fellow by the name of Joseph McCormick. And he's talking about in our lives, we get distracted a lot by all the noise, all the television, all the news and everything. And he said, um, we got to make some time, I guess, to have some fun, have some laughter in our lives. And he mentioned a couple of things. There's two things that he mentioned that resonated with me. First was declutter your life. Oh, well, look at the things around you, those things that are in your house, under your bed. What are they really for? Are they really helping you or are they maybe distractions? Do you really need them? And I'm very fortunate. I'm a nomad. so. Um, most of my belongings, I have to be able to put in my little Toyota Corolla and move around. So I have decluttered and it is very liberating, honestly. So and maybe as he says, it helps clear the mind if you haven't got a cluttered house or cluttered things. So when I pass away, at least my children don't have a house full of things to sort out and get rid of. And the second thing he mentions is uh, mind your own business. So when you're watching the news and, and listening to all this stuff that's going on, all that chatter, really, how is that going to affect me or affect you? Is it really important to us? Is it really going to? So maybe we're spending a lot of time listening and doing things that really aren't our own business. What's going on in the United States, really, is that going to affect us directly here in Canada? very unlikely so maybe not pay as much of attention to it and I think he states if it takes you time to develop the habits these are habits that he suggests which again is something that uh, he indicated in the book that if you can create those habits of decluttering your life and minding your own business you will be surprised the amount of energy and attention it frees up it gives you some time to laugh. So 
those are the two books today that I wanted to share with you and what I meant to me. The fact that uh, let's have some good habits where we can have some time to do the things that really are important to ourselves. So with that, I'll say adios, au revoir for another week. And it's Fred from Notes of a Nomad wishing you and your family and friends lots of love and laughter in the next uh, week or so. And bye for now. <laughs>